Hey, everybody, this is Mike Thomas with Parker Staffing. We are at Parker Live with Amber Roman. Hey, Amber, how you doing? Good. How are you doing, Mike? Doing great. Thanks. And we're talking today about conquering fears in freelancing. Uh, Amber, you used to work with Parker at Nintendo till last year when you took a freelancing uh, business that you've been working on for a few years now, uh, graphic design. And mm -hmm. you took that, took that on the road. Now you're full time with that. And we're just talking a bit about that. So tell us a bit about your business and how that's going. Yeah, sure. Um, well, like you said, I'm a freelance graphic designer. I focus on helping um, a variety of clients from like small indie bands to all the way up to larger organizations. Um, and I offer services like brand identity creation, um, logo design, layout design, and print coordination. Basically, if you've got a creative need, I can help you figure out how to get it done. Awesome. Awesome. Sounds really cool. What originally drew you to, you know, towards freelancing as opposed to working in graphic design and maybe another medium or, or a different kind of role? Yeah. So um, I've been freelancing on the side for um, about nine years now. <laughs> uh -huh. um, okay. And well yeah, it's, it's been a really uh, ongoing, long, ongoing project. Um, but I found when working on the side that I didn't really have a lot of time to dedicate to my business and help it grow. So I'd only get like a couple one-off projects here and there. And I didn't have a lot of momentum. Um, so while I was working at Nintendo, um, I had a really great opportunity to speak with the creative director there. Um, and during that face-to-face -face with him, I had kind of a moment of, um, I had to kind of face the truth that working in the contact center wasn't getting me any closer to my goal of working in graphic design. Um, so at that point, I decided it was time to just go full time. And I found that the fastest way for me to get hired in uh, this really competitive field was just to go ahead and hire myself. <laughs> right. Yeah. That's a good way of putting it actually. Right. Right. Yeah. Well, that's awesome. And it sounds like you've been doing it for a while, but there was obviously a certain point in your career where you decided, Hey, you know, I'm going to jump into this. I'm going to go freelance. I'm going to make this my job. And I'm going to, as you put it, hire myself. So tell me a bit about that transition when you transitioned off of uh, full-time work with a company into freelancing, what was your biggest fear? Yeah, um, something I've always struggled with is uh, fear of failure with just about anything I do. And I think that's really what held me back all those years was it's it's easy to, um, to, to do design projects on the side and then have that really structured safety net of, um, of another job where I have a team to rely on. And I know that if something uh, falls through, I've got this team to, to back me up. When I'm on my own as a freelancer, I don't have so much of a team. It's all kind of on my shoulders. Yeah. Um, yeah. So something that really kind of helped me with uh, trying to overcome that fear was this book. Um, I don't know if you can see it. Oh, it's, me... called, it's called Art and Fear by David Bales and Ted Orland. And they really talk about uh, the creative process and how um, there's a fear of failure and a possibility of failure with anything you do. So why not try and fail at something I love instead of putting all this work into something that I'm not as passionate about? Interesting. Okay. That's a really good way of putting it. Yeah. And would you say that that's how you kind of overcame that fear is through that, that reading and through that concept? Yeah, I would say um, just having somebody's perspective and another artistic mind's perspective, I could see that it's not just me. I'm sure everybody goes through that fear of failure when they're doing something. And, yeah. and that book really helped me put it into perspective and helped me kind of overcome it and make that leap. Really cool. Yeah, I think there's a time in our lives where we could all, all give that a read and, uh, and check it out. But that's as far as just your biggest fear. Uh, as far as other other challenges or obstacles, were there, were there any social challenges that you encountered or, or that you uh, were afraid of? Stigmas, you know, difficulties in networking, et cetera? 
Absolutely. I am an introvert. <laughs> and oh. um, it takes a lot out of me just to reach out to really anyone. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, but when you're freelancing, it's crucial to use your, your social network to find those clients. Um, and I realized that I really needed to, that that was an area in my, in my life that I'm still working on improving, but um, I found the more I did it, the more I reached out to people on LinkedIn, through Facebook, the easier it got. And uh, I mean, now I'm, I'm here talking live with you, which is a big step for me. Sure. Yeah, it's like kind of building a muscle for it, right? You just get eventually right. strong enough to make it regular. Really cool. Yeah, so we talked about kind of the social challenges, maybe some of your biggest fears beforehand. Were there any other real big obstacles that you encountered or thought you'd encounter when you made that transition? Yeah, so um, my I kind of jumped into doing freelance full time around when um, the uh, coronavirus kind of hit, and um, I've I, I've never been great at getting out, putting myself out there. Uh, to begin with, but now that we're all quarantined and social distancing, um, there's not an opportunity uh, to meet face to face with my clients, and there's also not an opportunity to um, to attend things like workshops or conventions where I could meet other graphic designers. Um, right. So right now I'm doing that all online. It's been, LinkedIn has actually been a great help in finding and reaching out to, to other designers and clients. Cool, cool. And the good thing about that is that maybe, you know, when, when things are a little bit more normal out there, you'll have that extra option for remote connecting. Exactly. So you'll, you'll always have a bit more of a, a farther reach, you could say. Really yeah. cool. This one's a little off script, Amber. I had a question for you that I uh, saw from, from somebody in our, our company, actually. Yeah. And she was curious about how much of your time would you say is, is uh, you could call it non-billable, searching for clients, networking, kind of what we were just talking about. Ooh, um, you know, to put it, I don't know if I could put it into a percentage. It is yeah. the majority of my time, I would say. Um, I have... Um, a lot of my time uh, that I do dedicate to, um, to to my clients is something that I can easily get into the groove of and just sit down and, and plug away and because it's something I've been obviously working on for the past nine years plus. Uh, but uh, working on trying to reach out to clients and to reach out other de to other designers, that's been, um, I'd say some, basically consuming my free time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And that makes sense, you know, the more and more time you put into it, the better yeah. possible. Cool. Well, on that note, let's talk about some of the benefits. What's your favorite thing about freelancing since you made that transition? The freedom. I absolutely love that yeah. I can set, yeah, yeah, I can set my own hours. Um, I usually work from my kitchen table where I can see my, my big backyard with my, with the, the woods in the back. And that really puts me in like a comfortable spot where I can be productive. And then another great benefit is I'm also a traditional artist. And when I find that I'm getting stuck on one project, a digital project, I can switch over to my traditional work. And that helps me keep up my momentum on both projects. Cool. Cool. Yeah, it's actually really interesting. You can just jump back and forth when you need to, you know? Yeah. So let's say I want to get into graphic design, right? And this is what, I, I did draw something. I want to hear your opinion. Yeah. This here, can you see it? You Let know me what see. that is? Let me zoom that in for you. Oh, cool. Yeah, I see it. You know what that is? It's a volcano. Obviously, I have a ton of potential. I'm fantastic. You do, you do. If I wanted to get into graphic design with this uh, amazing skill I have, where would you say I could start? Um, well, I started back in high school. Um, there was a vocational school that I attended that has been the foundation of my whole career. Um, mm -hmm. But what's really great about today is um, just about anything you wanna learn is available online. 
um, I, I still, because I constantly have to refresh my skills and stay up to date with the latest technology and uh, techniques. So I'm still reaching out to resources and learning every day. Um, one really great resource that I find myself coming to time and time again is a YouTube channel called The Future without an E. So F-U-T-U-R. Um, they talk about not only uh, how to do basic graphic design projects, but they also talk about the uh, aspect of social networking and reaching out to clients, which has been a big help for me recently. Awesome. Awesome. And would you be able to share one of your designs today or, or is there somewhere you could point us to that? Yeah. Um, you can uh, follow me on Instagram at uh, the Amber Roman the or Amber. Mm -hmm. yep, the Amber Roman, or um, you can visit my website, which is just amberroman.com where I've got my whole portfolio. Okay. And Amber, would that be the best place? If we have any viewers that'd be interested in, in talking to you about maybe a project or something, would that be the best place to visit your website? The Amber Roman? Uh, yes. The best place to, to find me is going to be my website, which is just amberroman.com. Oh, sorry, amberroman.com. Here you go. <laughs> no, cool. you're good. Very cool. Very cool. Well, I, I think that's about all I had um, as far as just talking about your business. Thanks so much for your time today, Amber. Was there anything else that you wanted to share about graphic design, freelancing, conquering fears? Uh, just if you want to do it, you can do it. Just go out and put your mind to it. Love it. Love it. Thanks so much, Amber. Stay safe. Have a great day. Have a great week. And Thanks. we'll uh, talk to you soon. Yeah. See you later, Mike. Yeah.